Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian and today we're going to look at this HYCW 1200E carpet washer. So this is a wet or dry vacuum cleaner that can also be used for cleaning carpets or upholstery. So there are various different setups depending on how you're going to use it. So let's go through those then shall we? So as we're set up at the moment you'll see I've got the wide black head on the end of the main shaft here. This would typically be used for just general vacuuming, dry goods, that sort of thing, picking up um, dust and debris from hard floors or carpets. So your traditional vacuum cleaner style head. Okay, so this head, you simply twist it and pull it off to change it. So if I were shampooing carpets, for instance, I'd probably use this wide head here. Now I'll just show you how this fits. So typically I'll just put it on slightly, and as I slide it down, I'll just put the little pipe into the connector, and that's it. That would be the head I would use for carpets. So on exactly the same note, and fitted in exactly the same way, we have this smaller head, which we'd use for upholstery, that sort of thing, curtains perhaps, and you can get into tighter crevices with this smaller head. So it fits in exactly the same way. So a great feature of this machine is that when you're not using the attachments, there are perfect places to store the parts so that they're kept with the machine. So around the back of the unit, we have this tank here. Now this is the clean water storage tank. And up to the line, you'll see some graduations here. It takes a maximum of four liters. So in this, you could put your cleaning fluid, carpet cleaner, uh, floor cleaner, whatever uh, chemical, you know, within reason that you're going to use and normal domestic chemicals. And the pipe connects in to the back into this little hole. You'll see the little red O-ring, make sure that's present. And it simply plugs into there and water is drawn from the tank during use when we push the buttons. Just one thing to show, you can undo that. Take the water tank away to fill it up. To fill it up, simply unscrew the lid. You'll see the little filter on the end of the pipe here. And you can fill it with your chemicals, water from your tap. You just screw the lid back on sits back in its little nest in the back of the machine and then we simply plug back into the back of the unit. So that would be four liters of water ready for use for cleaning. So when the tank is full, the electric motor will shut off, the unit will stop working. So we need to empty to the tank. So what I find useful, again, is to remove the quick release pipe there. We turn it anti-clockwise on the vacuum hose and that gives us easy access to the unit that we can move around and take to an appropriate disposal site for the empty and dirty water. So to remove the top of the unit, we can remove the pipe from the main tank and we need to flip, pulling up on the underside of these, flip the two catches, there's one there and one on the other side, out from the bottom, flip them out of the way and the lid can be removed. So if I just remove the lid, there's something quite important to note here. This is set up for wet use. For wet use, we remove the HEPA filter. So this is the HEPA filter. We remove this and fit this mesh sock here. It's like a foam material in black. So this would be the sock. For wet use, we fit the sock over the motor and that's what we need to do whenever we're going to be picking up fluids or wet use or shampooing, anything where there's moisture involved needs this sock fitting. So while I'm at it, I'll just remove that and show you when we're using the unit dry, we can use the HEPA filter and again, just push it firmly into place. So that's the HEPA filter for dry use. Twist and remove. And this is the foam sock that we use for wet use. So having demonstrated the different filter setups, I'll just remove the lid. In fact, to make things easier, I'll just remove the water tank and we can now find the appropriate disposal site and pour away the dirty used liquid. Again, once you've finished with the unit, if you're going to store it for long periods of time, I would recommend rinsing out the stainless steel bucket and thoroughly drying it before you put it away. And then, of course, it will be ready for next time you use it. So some customers, with it being a metallic drum, have had experience of static electrical shocks from the machine. Now, this is nothing to worry about, but there is a static discharge chain on the bottom of the drum. You'll probably wonder why this chain is dangling around underneath your machine. So this chain drags along the ground and discharges any static. And of course, from time to time, it can get tangled up with hairs, carpet fibers, get stuck inside here if you're transporting it or what have you. 
So if you're experiencing static shocks, just make sure that this chain is touching the ground. So I'll stand it back up so you can see. And as you can see here, the chain is touching the ground there, or touching my bench in this case. But that will discharge any static electricity and prevent you getting static shocks. So just one further point to add, I've got it set up for dry use again now. When you replace the lid, it will go on one of two ways. Obviously when you do replace the lid, we need to have the outlet for the water in the same orientation as the vacuum hose. So back on with the two catches. There we are, that's the lid replaced. Well there we are, I just thought I'd demonstrate there how to set it up for wet and dry functions with the machine. Now there's much more information on this machine if you read through the manual showing the different controls and what have you, but they're fairly self-explanatory. So I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian and thank you for watching.